Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we've got our second war here against Queen Walkers. It is a best of two. We're in preparation day right now. Go ahead and take a look at the war log. Uh, like I said, it is best of two, which means we did win the first war on percent, so we're tied on stars. So basically how it works, we play two wars. Whoever gets the most stars wins uh, combined from the two wars. But if we tie on stars again in the second war, it's going to come down to percent based on who had the most percent combined from the first and the second war. So as you can see here, we do have the advantage. Let's go ahead and see if we can get the victory in the second war. All right, guys, here we go. War started. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bases. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. Number one. Don't you dare call number one. <laughs> <laughs> this is some of my Yeti smash number two. Four looks like a base you could e-drag, Nick. Oh? Don't tell me that. Do it. <laughs> Can freeze both sweepers and the eagle together as well. Smells good to Nick. <laughs> Get <laughs> Yeah, you could probably e-drag from the top right side. Just save a late blimp for the town hall or something. On five? Mm -hmm. What about walking the queen from like 11 towards 9 yes. and then blimping the inferno at 9 to pull the CC, take the scatter and single down? Let her just walk down the wall to 6, king 12 to 3, and yeah. miners and hybrid in between? Yes. Jaja. Ja. That's exactly my plan. Nice. Wait, what exactly do you want to do number 5? Walk the queen from like 11 towards 9. She's eventually going to go down to 6. Mm -hmm. Blimp the Inferno in the Scatter at 9, pull the CC and kill those, and then King 12 to 3, and then um, Hybrid into the Town Hall, into the Cannon Town Hall. Um, I thought about something similar, but what I would do is maybe, like you could do the Queen Walk, like the same, 11 to 9, start mm -hmm. the King early for the funnel. Mm -hmm. You can lure the CC on the Cannon, you do not need the Blimp, and then just jump the queen in. You don't need any rage at the beginning because all of the expos on the right side. And then you have the siege barracks on two hybrid into the town hall. Okay. That looks nice. What would you use to funnel the queen so she takes the jump? You couldn't use a hacker, whatever you want. I mean, you have so many troop spaces. since you have the um, siege barracks. Yeah, I like that. The uh, Tesla farm at 9 might be an issue. Yeah, that's the only thing I was thinking as well. Well, you could just flex your Royal Champion over there if it's really needed, but I think like the pathing of all is just too good. And the Queen can reach both scatter shots. Yeah, true. So, yeah. Would you only bring two Ragers? Since you don't... Uh, won't need one early? Yeah, I think two rages might might be totally fine. Yeah, that way you have a freeze for the single. Yeah. I mean, it's up, up to you what you guys want to do, but... I don't know, I feel like the blimp isn't really getting too much, and it's kind of risky at the same time as well if... I don't know, I feel like blimp is, could always go wrong. <laughs> You're still scarred from that one war. Dude, I will never forget that. <laughs> <laughs> I still can't believe uh, Nick's blimp didn't even get that scatter last hit. Yeah, it landed on top of it. That was ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we look at number three. Okay. <laughs> Anybody got a plan? Mm -hmm. Nice. 
I mean, what we could do is Yeti Blim, 9 o'clock, or Thria, I think. I don't know whether it matters which side you're going for, but one of the corner compartments. Then you could go for the King at 12, wall break in at either side, like into the Ken and Arter Tower compartment, and then jump in the core, kind of like as a Yeti smash. I was kind of thinking that, but with like hogs on the back end. If you can like trade mm -hmm. your king for the queen and then use the royal champ to get that uh, scatter on the inside, start the queen at two, do the same charge in the wall break, and then like just use a siege barracks at 12 for that funnel. And you start the hogs at 11. Wait, what do you want to take up with a royal champ? I don't get it. Uh, the scatter at three. Like, have your king kill the queen and then royal oh, champ okay. hide him for the scatter. Although, then your royal champ's not the hogs. So. Maybe just blimp there and have the king at 12 with the same charge. Like you said. I don't know, this base feels super weird because you have all of the Expos on the outside somehow. Yeah. There's no damage in the core. So what you could do as well is maybe the Yeti smash and then just let your Yetis go through the wall in the core. You do not even have to jump because there's no damage. And then you have one gem for the back end to get into the uh, Inferno Towers. Yeah, that might be better. Looks pretty promising. I think you could probably wall over this somehow. You That's what I was thinking off. too. I did not think about that. Because you could just blimp the town hall and then sue the heroes into the queen. Maybe get the scatter there if you break in. Pull the CC somewhere with an archer and then Lala from four. Or the other way. I don't know, I'm not really that much of a Lala guy, but I do, I do see that. Yeah, you could do like the king RC it. Three with the same charge, and then just Lala instead of Hogs. That way, using your RC really isn't an issue. But the funnel at 12 would be interesting. Yeah, that town hall area is probably pretty trapped. That looks annoying. You do Siege Barracks at 12 with a Hound in it. When it pops, you start Lala. The hell? <laughs> you don't like it? I'd like to watch that. I'd like to see the other team do that. So, should we maybe get, go to number two? The, uh... Another clan for three. Oh? Uh, start Queen Lock at 12. You're talking about number three? Yeah, okay. Queen Lock 12. Uh, Earl Lock, whichever way she wants. And whichever way she decides. To funnel her inside to the town. And jump her in on the CC. And then King on either nine or three and uh, hogs i like the plan a lot but i would just wall break her in at the cannon yeah but the plan okay. like the green rock itself looks op i like that mm -hmm. i agree 
So do you need, if you're wall breaking, do you even need hasted balloons? Yeah, you don't need any hasted balloons. Just for, like as let's uh, let's say she's going to the left, then you're wall breaking in into the cannon, so we can reach the town hall. You can reach the expo, air defense, and the sweeper, which means you have even better pathing for your hybrid hawk riders, whatever you're going for. Mm -hmm. I might. I um, would might uh, go for the for the hawks because then you have the king to funnel. Like as soon as the queen is going going to the left, you can funnel like bomb tower, elixir storage, etc. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, it would get kind of expensive to get that other way. I think. Can you see um, to funnel the other side? You could use yeah, see, yeah, sure, yes, that's the left as well. So yeah, you could go for the siege barracks. I think I would use one ice golem in front of the. The pack of the siege barracks just just to make sure that you're getting the hero out of the way like for example royal champ mm -hmm. but accept that i like that i like the charge a lot uh were you attacking first no there okay. everyone is fine with that i could go first for us on number five guy okay okay five three number five Three, three looks really good as well, but I've already cooked up the army for five, so... Okay, okay, yeah. I think the, the, the queen walk on three is OP. Okay. Number two. Um, candy smash. Uh, probably warden walk. Six o'clock. Uh, get the stuff in there. Uh, probably uh, until he gets the air defense, and then do like an ice golem a champ on the opposite side at nine, and then send Eddie's and bowlers up the middle very quick. Big. You think bowlers will be good going into that double yeah, inferno not. tower? I mean, you could go for one of the Inferno Towers yeah. with the Eddie Blimp if you want to, right? Like, you won't need any Rages just to take that out, and you can do the CC kind of early on as well. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So you just do a Queen Walk instead, rather than an Warden? Yeah, you could do the queen walk just like from five, and then she's wrapping around to six. I think that should work. Yeah, yeah. And then you have the royal champion for the back end as well. Uh, let me do the blimp from the other side. Let's maybe get this weaker. Yeah. Or yeah. But then you're walking I'm around. I'm not the sure about the queen. Like, the queen can do your Yetis away, and I don't think the king would do that, so. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yes, it's a percent big deal. And you need to angle the blimp right, like, a, I think a really strange angle. Yeah, you gotta send it from like. Like from the gold mine or something like that. At four. for number one there's got to be a way we can abuse this channel should just let the scatter shot and walk the queen to the town what let the scatter shot and walk the queen to the town hall blimp which scatter shot the one right beside the town hall Oh, that's a damn impressive blimp that you can get in there. <laughs> when you have the warden ability, easy. 
You could probably blimp that Inferno though, right? With the Eagle and maybe get the Eagle and the Scatter under a Rage. But this looks... I don't know, this has to be tested, no? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks like they're definitely trying to defend that. I just feel like if you do enough loons in front, gotta make it. <clears throat> but yeah, it definitely looks like it's probably tested. Pretty good for e drags. Oh, <laughs> he's back. Who is that, Nick? He's back. <laughs> <laughs> he's breathing heavy again. <laughs> <laughs> he got excited. Shit. Yeah, if you use like Queen at 245, just the funnel, have the King walk from like 6 to 9. Use a roll chant behind him to get one of those ADs. Just E Dragon of the Town Hall and AD. Alright, good luck. I mean, the bounces are insane. Yeah, everything's touching, so. I feel like it's probably gonna be a 45 Archer CC. But... Here we go, first live attack. They are live on my base, guys. Let's see what they're doing. Queen Church, Lalo. Early King. Balloons to make a funnel. Dropping the, king, the Queen over here at 1 o'clock. Gonna get the early wall break in right on this bomb tower. It is successful. Queen's gonna step up, get targeted by the single target Inferno. Unfortunate, I am running dragons in the CC, so Queen will be able to take that out quite easily. It's gonna try to wall break again into this Inferno Tower. It is successful. I don't think Queen's gonna go in there though. Maybe, maybe she'll come back around eventually. Poison spell is gonna take care of the King and these dragons easily. Blimp for the Town Hall is going to take it out and pull the balloon out of the CC. He's not even going to have to rage the yetis. Queen does go in for the eagle. Nice charge here, honestly. And he gets the third connecting break. Wow. Beautiful charge here by Yuta. Damn. This is looking wrecked. That attack looks kind of beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh, except the queen's going for the wall. Luckily, Queen goes through the wall. She's not going to go down here and get the AD, Expo, Archer Tower, Wizard Tower. But he still might have it. Still has his Royal Champ, too? Yeah, Come he on, does. Queen, go down. Queen. Test the farm on the back end here. Queen goes down, uses the Ice Golem in front of the Royal Did Champ. Did you put the True Tesla farm over there on purpose? <laughs> yeah, I moved it. Warden should be dying. Let's see, I think this is gonna defend. Well, hold on. It's looking good. Royal Champ pushing through. Can he get this? This is gonna be, I think he might get it, shit. Rip. He's lucky he got the healer swap onto the road champ there. Saved him. Uh, could someone donate to me? This you see. Wow, that's gonna be a triple. Nice start by them. Got a little lucky with the healer swap onto the road champ. She was able to finish off the rest of the base. When do I have to go in? Uh, 32. So Itsu's on 5, Nick you're taking 1. Yep. Uh, Hex, 
did you want to do one of those Yeti smash attacks, or are you really keen on number three? Uh, either one. Okay. I'll let you, you do the three? Yeti smash then. <laughs> you taking three Lex? Yeah, I'll take number three. Yeah, let's take, what was it? Two. <clears throat> what did we decide for number four? Yeti smash? Uh, yeah. You think you can get the wall break right at nine on the archer tower? Yeah, I mean, if it's possible, I don't see why not. Yeah, so... I'm not 100% sure if it's working or not. Um, I will take a look once again at number four as soon as I'm ready with my... So should okay. I go now, like 32, or what was the time frame? What did you say? You can go now if you're ready, yeah. Okay. Alright, good luck. Thank you. Itsu is in, here on number 5, let's see if he can do it, coming in with the queen charge hybrid, using the king early to make the funnel, queen down, she's going to walk from 11 to 9, going this way, king making the funnel on this right side here, and he's going to hybrid right into the town hall, he's going to be using a jump spell to charge straight into the single target inferno, this is going to be really interesting, hopefully it works out well, going to have to drop the healers and the queen now, that cannon she cannot reach, Gonna have to skip it. Start the funnel at nine. Don't wait for this a little bit longer. CC's coming out. It's gonna be going to his queen. Gonna have to rage. Yep, I did. Queen's gonna get stuck on these ice golems. King made the funnel over here. Beautiful funnel, actually. King got a lot of stuff. Eagle is already activated. Queen is taking the jump, so he should be free to start the hybrid. He needs to keep the queen alive here. He uses a free spell to do so. Only has like three healers alive. I will just use ability. Pops were an ability there. Queen gets the Inferno. Rages the Queen again. She's going to stay alive. She's going to be able to get that scatter shot. Road Champ from the right side. Uses a freeze on the Eagle and the Expos. Is looking pretty good. Healers swap. Come on, Where troops. Where did my troops go? Oh, no. Did I misclick the Warden ability on the Town Hall? No. I don't no. think so. You have a ton of miners. They're just stacked up. Okay. I think you're still good with the champ ability. Yeah, you still got a decent chunk of money. Champ. Yeah, I did it already. Good job. Three. I still don't get where all the computers went. Like, I had so many miners and everything in the town hall. Like, like, where did they go? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be a triple by Itsu. Awesome. Strong start by us as well. Both sides getting a triple right away. Nice job, Itsu. Good job, good job. OP. Um, I can go next. Yeah, you can. And let's take a look at number four again. Yeah, what was the plan? I don't really understand it. Break in and then let her walk either way. Mm -hmm. And then quad quake in, Yeti smash. I think what we could do is, what do you think about like doing a Yeti blimp at 5 o'clock on the multi front tower? Uh, you should get the multi with the rage, you should get the air defense, a um, couple of things around there. Uh, then you can do a queen walk from 6 to 9. <clears throat> on, the, on the way you can take out the CC. King from 9 to 12 and then earthquake from air defense to CC. You can still bring a jump spell if you want to for the back end. And then just yeah, he's machine there. Yeah, I think I like Probably that one champion better. from like eleven ten ish. Yeah, I like that version better. So the the quake entry is on the is like around eight o'clock. Like on the right yeah. in between the AD and the clan castle. Yep. 
And I would be kind of patient with the quakes until something's targeting like the town hall, or at least about to target the town hall. Because if you do it too early, the yetis might just go straight in for the wizard tower and then like in toward the queen, and they might skip the town hall. I'm just looking at it. So if the king's is basically supposed to funnel the whole nine o'clock side, I just don't want the yetis to walk around that corner. Yes, so what you're doing is you can basically start with the yeti blimp, and then start with the queen at around um, five or sorry six, six mm -hmm. seven ish. Um, at the same time, you can already place one minion at the ten o'clock gold mine. Like there are two two ones. Mm -hmm. You want to drop them, uh, drop the minion on the higher one, and one wizard at nine o'clock. And then you can drop the king later on on the gold mine at the bottom one, and the king will go like gold mine, elixir storage, elixir storage, cannon, kinda. And then you can send in the main group of yetis from gold story like. The eight o'clock gold storage, the Archer Tower roundabout. <clears throat> okay. Did you guys just see that massive blimp fail on there? Yep. Nice trap. <laughs> yeah, they didn't get the road champ though, so it's gonna be a fail. <clears throat> so do you, do you like the the plan? Yeah, I mean, I I I like it. I definitely didn't see anything else really except for the e drags, but I don't want to do e drags. Yeah. It's gonna be a nice defense here by Nick. That blend champ got wrecked. Lost the base. This knife is warded. Yeah, that row champ was not fair play in there. Nice defense there. Good luck. All right, guys. Nick is in, coming in with the e drags. Let's see if he can get this. Base is really compact, so we decided to use the e drags here, using the queen to make the funnel on the top side. Loons and a baby dragon over here. I think he's also going to use the king to finish off the funnel on this side of the base. Those loons are getting some good value. Queen's going to wrap around. Get all this trash over here. Can she get this AD? No, I think. Well, actually, she might. Using the road champ down there. Queen, get that AD, please, please. Yes. Road champ's also going to get this other AD. King's going to make a really nice funnel over there. Now he's going to be able to send E Dragons straight into the town hall. Probably with a slammer on that inferno on the top side. Is he trying to pull the archers? Alright, here comes the main force. All the E-Dragons from this bottom right side with the balloons in front. Try to get some Seeking Air Mines. Town Hall still not activated, which is actually pretty nice. Some more archers from the CC. Now he's going to pop the Warden ability here. Get some good chain value moving in. These E-Dragons are getting distracted by some Skellies, which isn't very nice. Priest Amy Roy Champ, maybe? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is Warden gonna get targeted? He freezes to save Warden. Oh, come on, get that one skin. Are they gonna get the Royal Champ down? Yes, they do. One minion. Yeah, yeah, I'll have it ready, the minion. Come on, come on, get this AD, get this AD. Ton of E Dragons alive. It's looking good. Yep. Nice. Yep. Oh, good oh job. baby. Oh, baby. E-Drag's too easy. E-Drag God Nick over here. <sighs> GG, my dude. Thank this you. guy's an animal. Nice job with the E-Drag's there by Nick. It's gonna be a triple here. That's gonna put us at two for two. So how many archers did he have in his CC? Is it only 15? It's like a million and a half. I was kind of betting it was a 45 archer CC. <laughs> it wasn't 45, but it seemed like a lot. Yeah. So they are one for two. We are two for two. Nice. Go ahead and wait for their next attack. Uh, is it you? Probably. Oh, OK. <laughs> Yeah. 
What the hell is that base? <laughs> <laughs> it's you doesn't want to be sure. SLS is big. They like Bowen. Nice. Road champ doesn't get the inferno. He's gonna suey this left side over here. Oh, nice Pulled some of the ice golems. Yeah, there's no way he's got the scatter. So Queen's not gonna get the scatter now because no, of that. She targeted it. Are you kidding me? That's what? stupid. <laughs> How does she target the scatter there and not the ice golem? That's crazy. Kind of lucky there. You're crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> Is he gonna forget to use his warden? There goes the warden from the top top right side. It's Out of the blimp it. comes a dragon. Nah, there's so many loons. He's got a ton of spells. Probably should have put an, a bow on air. Loon's pathing over the town hall here with the rage. They're going to get it down. Skelly spell on the enemy queen. Is it going to get her? Dragon does not path to the queen. Haste spell on the back end. Still has one more haste and two more loons to use. The queen stays alive. She's going to kill the warden, so it's going to look like a defense here for us. Now she's going to start picking off all these loons. Nice. <laughs> How did that defend? <laughs> it's gonna be a fail. <laughs> SLS with the god base. Alrighty. Do you have the link for legend? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 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 There you go. Good luck. Hex live on this ugly looking base. Coming in with the Yeti Smash double jump with a blimp. Using some balloons over here to tank for this battle blimp. Let's see if we can get the Inferno, please. No. Get that Inferno, get that Inferno. No, 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 no. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> you can't put one wizard to a queen as well in poison. <clears throat> Poisons the archers. Alright, so the healers are gonna stay alive. Nice. Sketchy start there with the one healers. One Kokodur from six. Using an ice golem in the road champ to make the funnel over here. Start the eddies. Road champ did not get the warden, but that's okay. Can put one wizard on three if you have time. On three. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah, my clock is different. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I think that jump needed to be higher so they target the Inferno. If Queen goes down here, I don't know if it's gonna work. Still has the King ability, wow. That scatter shot's gonna cost him. I think if you put the two loons on the Tesla at 10, you're getting the most percentage out of the last wizard. 10? Yeah, or do you guys think anything else? 
Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, yeah, you should get both the collectors. Yeah, only 20 seconds do it now. <laughs> nice try, man. And queen. Nice try there by Hex, it almost worked. <coughs> if his queen, if he would have dropped the second jump a little bit higher up here, I think his queen would have targeted all this stuff up here and it would have been a triple. If he had time. I should have put my jump going into that for now. Yeah. Yeah, after seeing that opener with the <coughs> um, Royal Champion, I feel like if he would have just queen charged, the base would have been dead, kinda. <laughs> yeah. The opener looks so, looked OP. Because of our percent from the first war, they have to go two for two here to have a chance. Nice. Unless we just get awful percent on the next two attacks. Like forty percent above them. Yeah. Well, you and the SLS are about also. No, ruin it, of course. Here they go, live on Insu's base, starting off with the Warden Walk, they're gonna be doing a Yeti Smash. Gonna try to Warden Walk the Town Hall, maybe? Interesting. See if Warden can get that Town Hall, it might take him a long time, but we'll see how patient he is. <laughs> Dropping a Giant there, in front of the Warden, that's interesting. <laughs> he gets sprung, look at that. <laughs> Rip that giant. Using a giant and a BK over here at 3 o'clock. A bunch of skelly traps, so he might not get the row of champ here. Nope, he does. Drops the queen over here. Warden should snap over and help her out. He does. They're not going to get the town hall. <laughs> Let's see which way Queen goes. She does go for the Town Hall, okay. <coughs> he should probably pop the Warden ability. Yes, he does. Rages the Yetis. They're gonna kill the Queen and then the CC. Let's see which way his Queen goes. She's gonna go around the base. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Let's see, let's see. Everything pushing through. Healers there. are still alive. Single target Inferno is picking off some healers. Uses an Ice Golem and the Royal Champ up top. And his slammer over here for the Inferno. A lot of those healers went down early. The Yetis are dying off. Things is going to be a defense. Which means all we have to do is two star out nice. for the win. No. Depends on percent. Could have been okay. pretty bad yeah. Still has a rage spell, but no way he gets this triple. Gonna try to use the freeze here to keep her alive. It's not gonna work out that well though. Still another expo and a king she would have to go through. Does get that expo down. If he had time, the dragon might be able to finish off the base. OP bait. <laughs> Using the same base twice. <laughs> nice defense. <laughs> Here we go, Queen Charge Hawks. Yes. Thank you. Which way will she go? That's the question. Pretty sure she's going left. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah. Left. Yeah. Test ball breaker, yeah. Use the king ability just to make sure that he's like running away maybe. Perfect timing. Nice. nice. Leg god OP. That's a lot of trash, holy crap. Poison. Archers and goblins. <laughs> the legend league CC. <laughs> Shot, so you won't need it. No, no what? Maybe just move. <laughs> heal, heal. You're crazy, man. Wait, if you put the siege breaks in the war ability, no, so it loses HP. Okay. Yeah, it still does. You got two hogs, maybe at six. Yeah. I think I would rage up the uh, Hawks and the Royal Champion, maybe. Or what do you think? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I used it. Freaking ground skin. Come on, Warden, help her. What is this freaking? <laughs> Come on. No way. No. <laughs> oh god. Master. Hang tight, queen. Ugh. God damn it. This double giant bomb in the end. Uh, yeah. yeah, all the hogs got wrecked. 99%. <sighs> nice trot, man. You had him. Alright, well, two stars and we win. For sure. Good luck. All right, enemies are using Yeti Smash here on Hex's base with an early Yeti Bomb for the Town Hall. Let's go ahead and see if that Yeti Bomb is successful. Looks like it is. Hex is going crazy with the keyboard. Oof. SLS is saying oof, what happened? You oh, he your didn't. Queen, start it, and then uh, roll champ for the Inferno. Okay. Yeah, use the roll champ to funnel. Like first queen and then the royal champ. Let the queen fight the CC first, though. Yeah. Oh, be, oh, be careful with the healers. They might transition over to the royal champion yeah. now. Wait till the CC dies and the uh, arch tower and Tesla are aggro. Okay. Minion and yeah, nice wizard at nine. Cool. Let's see if he can get this inferno tower down so it doesn't kill all his healers. It's gonna be sketchy here. Perfect with the road champ, I think. Knows everything is planned. <laughs> Queen is almost dead too. Should Jeez. I go and get the Yetis? You will need a raid soon on the Queen, may uh, maybe. Careful with that, and then the Yetis in yes. Don't know if he needed that raid. Wait, your Queen? Now he does, because the cannon locks onto her. Earthquakes? Get the jump. Quake. You placed the jump already? Yep, it's down. Next rage, nice. Um, one archer at four, or like minion. Okay. It's looking pretty good. 
if he has time. This might be a time fill. Come on, SLS, come on. Yeti's pushing through the top side. Queen on the no. bottom side. She has some healers. Can she get through these cannons? Come on, Let's Queen. See, considering how the entry uh, went, yeah. Jetty's is just, just so broken. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What's that? That's gonna be a time fail. Uh, considering how the entry went, and you basically had to swag your Royal Champion. Um, like, if you had your Royal Champion on the back end, the Yeti Blimp somehow would have worked. Would have been easy overkill triple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised that Yeti went. It's so horrible there. They did I triple, I but I think we're gonna have They just percent. all aggroed the queen, I guess. I think we're gonna have percent. Let's hope. It's gonna be tight on stars. Oh, we lost percent. <laughs> GG's. GG. What happened there? Ooh. We still won the overall though, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah because it's best of two. Nice job, guys. Wow. Nice. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. All right, so that's going to put us into the finals for next week then. All right, guys, so you saw it there. Tribe, uh, well, we did lose this war here, but it is best of two. So in case you guys were wondering, um, let's go ahead and take a look at the war log. Right here, we did win the first one. Uh, so both... Wars tied on stars, but we won the first one by what is that like almost or more than seven percent? No, yeah, more than seven percent, and then lost the other one by uh, two percent. So overall, we won by like five percent. So Tribe Gaming did get the victory in this best of two matchup against Queen Walkers, which means we're going to be moving on to the finals of a uh, primetime cup. So nice, we're gonna be doing the finals, I believe, next weekend, so stay tuned for that, and we'll see uh, if Tribe Gaming can come out on top. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.